In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to show you how to blur out a moving object on the screen. This is often used in real productions with license plates or you can use it with people's faces. We're going to use a quick example of a license plate. I have a video of a car driving toward us and I'm going to blur out the license plate on this car as the car begins to move. Now this is a little bit of a tricky project, uh, but we're going to do it in a very simple way just so you get the process down. First thing I need to do is I need to have a video, and I've got one. I put it on track number one. But in order to do this, I also have to put the same video on track number two. So I click on my project assets and I drag it down so I have two copies of the very same video. I'm going to turn off the audio on track number two because there's no reason to duplicate that. But so I have uh, the same video on one and two. The next step in the process is I need a box to block out the license plate number. Now to do that what I've done is I've gone into my copy of uh, Photoshop elements to create that. You could use any kind of uh, digital editor you, you want to use. I just created a brand new file. I'll do file new blank file and I can pick any size I want. It really doesn't have to be too big. I pick 200 by 150 but you want to make sure that the background contents are sent to transparent. That's very important here. Then click on OK. And here's my empty canvas um, and then all I need to do is use my rectangle tool make sure my color is set to white and then just draw a box about the proportions of a license plate doesn't matter how big it is and now I have my white box the next step is to save this we'll go file save as and we'll save it as this is also very important we have to save it as a PNG file and I'll just call this uh, uh, give this a name here to save it. We'll call it License Blockout. So we're going to block out the license with this. We'll click on Save and click on OK. And now I have a PNG file called License Blockout. I need to bring it into my media room, so I'll click on Add Media, go to that place in my file system where I saved it, and we have license block block out here. We'll click on it and we've added it. Now all I have is a new tool. It's a, a still picture of a white box, but we're going to show you how to use that in a useful way. Now that I have that, I take that and drag it on audio track number three or video track three, and I'll stretch it out to the duration of the clip. So now I have everything I need. Now it's much bigger than what I want, so we're going to keyframe the white box in this particular application. So what we're going to do is with the license selected, we click on our uh, FX, the effects editor on the right, and we're going to click on the, uh, ver the clock at the very top, which will give me my keyframe controls, and we'll go to our motion and we'll set our keyframe. So if I turn it on here, now I also have to turn it on here under motion. And it set a keyframe for my white box. Now at this moment in time, I don't want it this big, so if I, if I have it set here, we're going to change some things about the box. We're going to shrink it down, and we're going to move it to cover the license plate. And hopefully our proportions are close enough to work. And now I've started keyframing my little white box. So we'll move a little bit forward. And now we'll move it again as we move the keyframe forward. We'll move it a little bit more. We'll move it again. And you can enlarge this if you want to give yourself more time uh, between the precision between the frames here. And let's see, and then we come out on this side, and I need to lower it a little bit. Move a little far farther forward, and we'll take this. I don't want to move those arrows. 
I want to move the box. There we go. And so you see the process here. We'll take it and we'll move it and we can actually enlarge it as the license plate gets closer to the camera. And then we're over here and so what we're going to do is move it one more time make it a little bit bigger yet. I could actually rotate it, do a little bit more if I wanted to, but you get the idea. So what I've done is I've keyframed the, uh, the box as the car moves forward. And in this case, because I wasn't using a tripod, it's not a straight line, so it, it will... I'll probably have to go back if I wanted to do this perfectly and add a lot more keyframes. So I can just enlarge this area here move my slider down and add a lot more sections here where I can tweak it a little bit because see here we're off a little on this this particular frame and we'll click over here and we need a little bit more help back here and we'll click over here and so it needs a little bit more adjustment but uh, that's how you begin to modify that so we'll go ahead and we'll close that window here and let's see what it looks like when we just take that part of the clip where we started use, doing this. It was right here under the garbage can. We'll play it. I'll enlarge it if I can. We'll play it. And you see, in general, it's starting to mask the, uh, um, the license plate. Now, I don't want a white box on the license plate. I want, I want a blur. Now, that's why my second track comes in we're going to use a track mat effect so I want to make sure I'm now clicked on my video number two and I'm going to click on my effects tool and we're going to first of all we're going to do a blur so I'm going to just type up in the box on the right blur let's take our Gaussian blur we'll drag it and drop it down onto the video now we're going to create on the second layer uh, a very heavy blur. All right. And it looks like we're blurring out the entire video, but we're not going to do that. Uh, so we have that one set. Now the other thing we're going to do is on that same layer, we're going to use another effect. And this is where we use our uh, mat. We're going to use our track mat key. And we'll drag that down on video two as, as well. Okay. And now we're going to use our track mat. I'm going to turn this off. The mat says, where do you get your mat from? Well, we're going to get it from the white box. The white box is on video track three. So we click down here to video three, and that gives me my mat. Okay. And now instead of a white box, I have a blurred uh, appearance for my covering for my license plate. So we'll go ahead and close this and you can see the difference this makes. Again, we haven't been precise on where the blur is. You'll have to, to work on that um, more precisely in your finished product. But notice what I have now. I have a blur on top of the plate. It's easier to see. Let me drag this out a little bit. Um, it's easier to see if we stretch it out and kind of go frame by frame here. So there's my blur. There's where we started. Okay, and you see it's it's not perfectly on top of the license plate. We're going not to take the time to do that in the tutorial, but you get the process here. Okay. And so you now you have a blur effect on a moving object. 